G'day and welcome back to the kangaroo cookery class. Today we're going to be looking at a kangaroo rendang, an Indonesian version on an Australian dish. The kangaroo rendang can use a variety of kangaroo leg cuts, such as the round, the silver side, the top side, and the rump. For our purposes today, we've chosen to use the silver side. We're going to split it down the middle and then cut it into large chunks. The reason for cutting it into large chunks rather than small pieces is so when we seal it later, it allows the product to still to remain slightly underdone when we finish off the cooking process. It's very important to have the pan preheated and wisping in a little bit of smoke before we place the meat into the pan. You need to scatter the meat so as it evenly starts to brown. If you put it in in one big pile, you'll cool the pan down too much and you won't achieve any caramelization. The caramelization is vital to the flavor of the product. Do not stir it and do not allow it to cool down too much. You want to keep it on high heat. You do not want the meat to boil in its own juices. You're going to seal the meat for around about one to two minutes at this thickness or size of cube. You are aiming to have it approximately rare to medium rare at the moment. Remove the kangaroo from the pan and but leave the oil in there. You then want to add some sliced onions into this of which we're going to caramelize very very well until they're nice and brown and rich and sweet. Once we've caramelized those onions very well we're going to add a curry paste made from garlic, ginger, lemongrass and some chilies. For specifics on the recipe you need to consult your CD-ROM. And we are going to fry that paste until it becomes quite aromatic. There's no real timing here. It really works on how aromatic and how pungent the spice smell is. Once we've got it quite aromatic, we then add some coconut cream to it and we allow that flavor to infuse through. The coconut cream forms the basis of our sauce. We reduce it down for around about one to two minutes and then we add in some cracked cardamom pods. The cardamom pods give it a very earthy flavor, very distinct Indonesian. Small amount of sweet soy sauce is added. This gives it a little bit of robustness and a little bit of sweetness and balances the flavor a little bit. Whilst we've been cooking the sauce base, the kangaroo is resting nicely. Finally, we're going to add some snow pea shoots. In this process, you can add whatever vegetable you liked in there. These snow pea shoots give it a slight nuttiness. Finish this now off with some toasted coconut. Very important to toast the coconut to release the flavor fully. Add them back into the sauce mixture, your seared kangaroo. Toss this through gently and allow it to cook for a further one more minute. Serve with some steamed rice and a little bit of toasted coconut on top. Squeeze the lime on top to add a heightened flavor to the kangaroo. There's your kangaroo rendang, Indonesian style. Please enjoy the aromatic kangaroo curry and I'll see you at the next kangaroo cookery class.